Welcome back to 60 RPM, folks. This review, Aubrey's just gonna run, okay? This is Banks, the altar. No. <laughs> I got two diamonds and a feather. Um, I absolutely love her voice. It sounds amazing, and it's definitely one of those qualities I really look for in music. A lot of the standout tracks to me come later in the track listing. Uh, the second half features uh, Judas, uh, Haunt, and The Poltergeist. All of which have kind of like a sneaky or I don't want to say spooky because that's not really the right word for it. But they do have very sleek instrumentals and uh, subject matter that makes uh, Banks' bravado really come out. Speaking of bravado, the song Fuck With Myself. I think she has a lot of interesting beats and rhythms that she uses. And she mixes in a lot of different qualities with, like you said, the whispering or... So I listened to the album on Apple Music, and I didn't realize that 27 Hours is actually a bonus track, which kind of killed it for me because I really didn't like To The Hilt. I thought it was one of the more boring songs on the album, despite it being one of her only ballads. But 27 Hours, if you are listening to it on that version, is a hell of a finale. Gemini Feed was a really powerful track to start it off with. I felt like it was very powerful and like, this is what I'm bringing. <laughs> she really lets her bravado and her kind of confidence take over on this album, which I think is a good change of pace because her last album had so many low-key cuts, so many ballads that it got kind of boring and long-winded, especially near the end. It's a great mix of moods. This is going to be like one of the messiest videos we upload for sure. 